Hello and Proclamation, welcome to my channel. In this video, it's going to be a quick one on how to fix RIPX DAW error. I upgraded to the new version 7.5 and this was the error I got. Um, yes, I got more than 20 gigabyte disk space and I got more than 8 gigabytes of RAM and I did email them and go on their contact form but it might be a while before they get back to me but I fixed it myself. And so if you're coming up with this problem, I'm going to show you how to fix it. And I'm going to start on how I troubleshoot. Troubleshooting is very important when this happened. It's midnight and I've been fighting with Rip X with this era for an hour. And I deleted the new version, put in the old version, and it still came up with this era plus some other errors that was coming up. It was really weird. So I deleted the old version, and then I went into my folder and made sure that the hit and mix folder is deleted and gone so I could start clean. And it's in program files, and you'll find it under hit and mix. Uh, where are you? I passed it. Ripped all. Now everything was gone except for resources, and license. I think license did stay. And in resources, what's very important is the Python. That's what's causing the problem. So I just went and deleted this whole folder with, with anything extra in it. And it didn't seem to require me to put my license key back in. So it's probably being stored in the registry. And then you're going to go to your C drive and you're going to go to your users and you're going to look yourself up. And you're going to go into your app data and you go into roaming and you're going to come down to hit and mix and what's important is this folder right here i don't know if it'll still show an error let's see if i can make it bigger for you guys and look at my screen to see if i get big enough for you this looks like everything's going just right I went in here and I saw that there was an error. And this is an output from the Python. It couldn't find the DLL, so it was showing that it was just killing the preparation. I mean, here it shows cancel pre separation. Sorry. I mean, it would, it would, and it would kill the pre separation. Take a look at that log, and you should see that Python isn't working properly. The DLL for it isn't kicking in. So the solution is, and it's a very easy solution, it's a CUDA toolkit that needs to be installed. I did have it installed, but it just wouldn't work with RIPX. I might have had version 12. I think there might be a version 12. This is 11.8. That's not the one I used. This is the one I use for Windows 10. You click on Windows, you click on X. 8664, you click on version 10, and then you do a local download and just run it under Express Settings. And it's going to install stuff. But once I did this and reinstall RIPX 7.5, the new version, I had 7.2, so I'm way behind. And everything's been working fine. I can rip everything. The reason why is CUDA comes with its own Python and that's what RIPX is looking for. Now I'm pretty sure I had this version 12.0 and they got a new one right here 12.6. I could have had that one but I'm not for sure. I had to do it for uh, DaVinci Resolve. It uses the CUDA toolkit so hopefully it'll work with the version 11.0 but everything's working perfectly. And to show it, I'm gonna take this one right here. I already did it for drum and percussion. Um, let's do it for, how about other sounds and instruments? And if hit rip, if you look over here on the left side, it's, it's moving along. It's transparent, the, the bar that's running across while it's ripped it. Okay, as you can see, it brought up all the different pieces. I can't play it. It's a copyrighted piece of music. So that's my video on how to fix RIP-X so you can start 
ripping things apart. And I'll see you in my next video.